Hello everyone, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music, and today we're going to continue our beginner guitar lesson series using Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method, Grade 1. Okay, so today's lesson will be focused on page 17. There's basically two things that we're learning on page 17. First off, there's a little lesson at the top about ledger lines. If you haven't seen my video yet about the staff and understanding the staff, I do discuss ledger lines in that video. I'll include the link here. Please check it out. That will give you some further information, but we will discuss it a little more today. We're also going to learn three new notes found on the fifth string or the A string. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about ledger lines. Ledger lines are basically tools that we use to extend the staff. Right, because there are way more notes than we can actually fit on the staff. There's only five lines and four spaces on the staff. And notes continue to get higher and notes continue to get lower. Theoretically, notes can go forever in any direction. Now, the guitar is limited. The highest note it can play is that. Some guitars have more frets. If you have more frets, you can play a little higher. And the lowest note you can play is a low E. Unless you do an alternate tuning, sometimes you might tune that low string down to a D or something, you can get a little bit lower note. But the instrument is limited. It can only play so many notes. So when we look at this top part of the page, it's explaining how that works. When notes begin to go above or below the staff, we use ledger lines so we can keep track of where those notes are at. The ledger lines are just extending the staff. They're just little mini lines going up to help us understand where we are at on the staff. Now we haven't learned all of those notes that you see on that page, but they're there. The reason it's telling us about ledger lines is because the new notes that we're going to, to learn today use ledger lines. So we have to get used to seeing that. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our new notes. So the first new note that we're gonna learn today is A. A is open on the fifth string. And as you can see, on the staff, A is found on the second ledger line below the staff. You have the staff, and then you have one, two ledger lines, and A is right on that second ledger line. The best way to remember where notes are at on ledger lines is just to familiarize yourself with them enough that they become automatic. I know very quickly by seeing that note that it's an A, but I've just seen it a lot. And as you play through the exercises in the book, you will become that familiar with it. It may just take some time. So A is on the second ledger line below the staff. So the next note that we're gonna talk about is B. B will be played with your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string or the A string. That is B. Now as you can see, B is just below the first ledger line below the staff. So B only utilizes one ledger line. It's a little bit higher note than A is. But it's directly below the line. It's not on the ledger line like A was. That's important to note that when you're dealing with notes below the staff, they can either be on the line or they can be below the ledger line. So B is just below the first ledger line below the staff. The last new note that we're gonna to learn today is C. This is low C. We've already learned C up here on the second string, but this is our low C. And this note will be played with our third finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Third finger, third fret. Sounds like this. Now you'll notice that C is directly on the first ledger line below the staff. B was just below the ledger line and C is directly on the ledger line. You'll get used to seeing these notes and knowing where they're at as you do more exercises. But those are our three new notes. A, B, and C. 
As always, at this point, whenever I learn new notes on this on a new string, I like to practice walking all the way up and down the notes that I've learned. So, so far on the guitar, we have learned notes starting on A, low A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We have learned two full octaves starting on low A. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first exercise on the bottom of page 17, whole notes. So this is just going to be utilizing our new notes today, A, B, and C. I'm going to go ahead and set the metronome at 72 and play whole notes. Here we go. One, two, ready, and play. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's all there is to it. Again, we've done this several times before. This exercise shouldn't be too challenging for you. It's just familiarizing yourself with these new notes and being able to see them on the page and put them to what your left hand should do. Let's go ahead and jump the metronome up to 120. Try this exercise at a faster tempo. One, two, one, two, ready, play. Two, three, four. That's the first exercise. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, half notes. Very similar to what we've done in the past, we're just trying some half notes with our new notes. Here's the metronome at 72. One, two, ready, and play. Great job. Let's go ahead and jump this metronome up to 120 and see how that sounds. One, two, one, two, ready, play. Great job today. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe as usual. If you enjoyed today's content, please check out my Patreon page and we will see you at our next guitar lesson. Mm -hmm.